Hi, Joe here with a Winnebago 70X, and we're going to go through some of the functions on the displays and how to turn stuff on and off, basic stuff. So first, in order to do anything in here, you have to turn on the battery pack. The battery pack is located behind this seat. It's just a little toggle switch. It's right down here, and you just turn it to the on button, and that turns on the battery pack in the coach. Once you have that on, the display will come on here, the LCD display for the control panel. Uh, you'll be able to see your solar charging and where you're, where you're at. This is empty, this is halfway full, and this is completely full. The solar on top gives you an automatic partial trickle charge for this, but it's usually only enough to run the uh, refrigerator. So you will want to wait until this boots up so you can get, if you're... Uh, if you're not using shore power, you're going to want to turn on the generator to go ahead and get the power going so you can use more of the functions on here like the microwave oven and whatnot. So for this you want to go to manual operation. So let me go back once once here. So you're going to go to auto generator start even though you don't, it's not going to be automatic, it's going to be manual. It's located under the auto gen start. So there's the manual operation. These enable you to set times and functions for if you're staying at a KOA and they have no generator hours uh, where you can't run your generator for quiet for the other people. So in this case, we're just going to use the manual start. So you hit the manual button. Very easy, start, stop. So for start, you actually have to hold it down even though it's kind of a, you know, touch screen, it does work. So now you can hear it running. Now the generator's running. Now all your functions for your um, microwave oven and air conditioner are gonna be able to be used. Without that, it's not gonna work. So the other function we want to go through here is while the generator's running, we'll just go through some of the other things. You have your lights. You, your lighting control panel is here. You can turn on your overhead lights here. And you have to give it a second for it to come on so you can't rush it. The galley light is here. And then these start coming on. You'll see front ceiling light. You'll see some more brightness happen as they come on one at a time. You have to be a little bit patient with it. Rear light, front ceiling light. Sofa light, bath light, and then the porch light, and then the master turns them all on off again. So now that you have the kind of a general knowledge of that, this gate, this second part here, this icon shows you where your levels are at on all your different fluids and fuels. This is your fresh water tank. Fresh water is full. You've got all the water you need gray water tank it looks like it is empty so that's where you want it because you don't want your tank this is the wastewater you don't want it full when you start out and black water looks like it's empty as well as where you want it this tells you the coach battery where it is and this the coach is the Winnebago part so that's the living part uh, the chassis is the Mercedes-Benz van that this whole thing has been built into so it tells you both batteries and their and their how much uh, charge they have so 13 and 12 that's the great levels LP gas, low pressure, uh, natural, or, uh, sorry, uh, uh, propane shows you where you're at, three quarters of a tank. You can get this filled at any gas station where they have uh, propane, they will fill it for you. So that's those levels. 